टुडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट सेल्फ इंडक्टेंस एंड म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस ऑफ द कॉइन सी हियर दिस वन इज द कॉइन ऑफ एंड टेंस एंड लेंथ स्मॉल एर वी हैव कनेक्टेड रजिस्टर विथ बैटरी If you pass current, due current, magnetic effect is generated. So, suppose for each turn, magnetic flux is five. So total flux is n five, which is directly proportional to current I, because I due to I magnetic field generated. So n five L is I. So n five equal to L I. L is proportional constant. For given coil. It remains same. The ratio remains same. N five upon I. If I increases, flux also increases. But in such a way, this ratio remains same. It is called self inductance of the coil. Uh, we can say that total magnetic flux per unit current is called self inductance of the system of uh, is the uh, of the coil. The unit is what Weber per ampere. It is called Henry in memory of scientist. And it is known as capital H. If we by somehow if uh, if we change EMF continuously, then flux link the coil also changes. So EMF is generated between two ends of the coil. So what about the EMF? According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, minus d dt of n phi. But what is n phi? It is l i. So d dt of minus d dt of l i minus l d l by d t. This is the EMF across two ends of the coil. This formula is important. It will be time to. If D by D is zero, EMF is zero. Suppose current increases initially, so EMF generated between two ends of the coil this way plus minus. So it opposes the current, increasing current. So sometimes it is called back EMF. Now eddy current. Whenever magnetic flux link with the coil or conductor changes, EMF generated, and so current loops also. The direction of current, a current loop in such a way, the magnetic field produced due to it opposes the motion here, opposes the very cause. This one is copper plate. This one is the uh, magnetic field uh, using a horse magnet. Suppose the plate is moving this way. And it is entering to the magnetic field, and magnetic field in this direction. So during the entering, current loop must be this way. So uh, source magnetic field is this way, generating magnetic field this way. So it opposes the motion. But when it is moving out of the magnetic field this way, so magnetic flux decreases. And every time, according to Lenz's law, these current loops. opposes the change of flux but here magnetic field of flux decreases so it opposes the decrease of flux so the current this way support this uh if you make slot this way so we have made some type of resistance path resistance so current loops are uh, something uh, small and so eddy current effect is something slow in this case suppose just one oscillation it stops so in this case there are maybe 5 to 6 oscillation so we can make effect of any current less by generating resistance now energy stored in an inductor electrical power p is ei or it is dw by dt rate of doing work but we know that e is minus l dv by dt So dW by dt is minus L dI by dt into I. So dT dT cut out dW is minus L dI. So integrating both the sides, integral dW is integral zero to I minus L dI. But L is constant and neglecting sign because the minus sign is due to length only. Uh, it is I square by two zero to I. Uh, so we have half L square. This one, this one is the energy stored in inductor. When current I is passing through it, and inside the magnetic field in this region, this energy is stored. Magnetic field. Now energy density is what? So energy stored upon volume of the coil. 
एन एस टू डी जहां फैला है इस पर वॉल्यूम ऑफ द कॉल इज ए इंटू लेंथ क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इंटू लेंथ बट एल इज एन फाइव अपॉन आई एन फाइव इज बी डॉट ए अपॉन आई बट हियर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड एरिया वेक्टर इन सेम डायरेक्शन सो बी ए कॉस जीरो If you consider uh, coil is a very long solenoid, then B is replaced by mu naught n i a i n is n mu naught small n number of turns per minute length so n by l into a. Uh, so uh, at last mu naught n square a by l. It is the uh, self inductance of a very long solenoid having finite length. L. Very long but finite length. Now rho b half mu naught n square a by l half l l is this i square by a l but b is b is mu naught into n by l into i so subtracting i i is b l by mu naught n so we replace i by this term so here half mu naught n square a by l into i B square I square B square L square by B naught square L square into one upon L. After simplifying, we get half B square by B naught. And this is the same as electric field. Uh, electric energy stored in capacitor. We have studied already. We know that energy stored in electric field between the plates of two capacitors is half C D square. So rho e is U e by A D. Total energy upon volume. So half C D square by A D, half C is epsilon naught A upon D for parallel plate capacitor, and we know that V is E D. What it means is E into separation. So E square D square by A D. After cut out, we get half epsilon naught D square. Observe the similarity: magnetic field and electric field energy density. Now mutual inductance. Consider two coils. One is of having cross section A1, number of turns N1, length L1. Other is cross section A2, number of turns N2, length is L2. Suppose we are passing current I1 in first coil, and we are measuring the magnetic flux in the second coil. And by common sense, total flux in the second coil is directly proportional to I1. So if we want to remove the sign of variation, we have to put some constant. Phi2 is m21 I1. So m21 is phi2 by I1. That is magnetic flux linked with one of the coil per unit current passing through the other coil is called the mutual inductance of the second coil with respect to first one. Similarly, if we pass current I two in second coil and measuring the flux in our first coil, uh, the total flux phi one is directly proportional to I two. So phi one is m one to I two. Uh, experiment says that. In both the cases, we get the same result M12 and M21, and it is called mutual inductance of the system of two coil. If by somehow we are changing current continuously, so magnetic flux in the second coil continuously change, and so EMF is generated. And according to law of electromagnetic law of Michael Faraday, E2 is minus B5 to by dt. So minus E2 of M21 I1. M21 is constant, so a minus M21 into D1 by D. Using this formula, uh, subtracting M2, M21, we get minus E2 by D1 by D. So using this formula, we can define mutual inductance by other way. It is mutual EMF generated in one of the coil per unit rate of change of current in the other coil is called mutual inductance of the system of two coils. On either way. If you can pass this and flux change this, if you can pass here and flux change this, we get the same result. F two one M M one two equal to N, which is called reciprocity theorem.